team selection was a bit of a letdown. And that's where I think Chris Hutton needs to take responsibility. And this is not personal. And that's why sometimes when you you speak and you mention certain players' names, people think that you're being personal. But let's say Captain Andre Ayu, for example, in yesterday's game particularly, first of all, Ayu had not played significant football since January. That's six months since yeah. he moved to England. He's barely had any kind of football to play. Number two, since Chris Hutton took over, he's not kicked the ball for the national team. On top of that, he struggles for fitness. Now, with the full knowledge that Ghana has struggled for goals in recent matches, and knowing, of course, that the only reason Ghana got that equalizer against Angola was because Chris Hutton was highly praised for being bold enough to make substitutions at critical moments in the game and brought some players that were quicker, that were younger, that were sharper. In Osman Bukhari, in Joseph Pencil, in Ashimeru, they came out against Angola, and they entirely changed the game. And after that, we were all full of praise for Chris Hutton for what he did. The expectation for a crucial game of this nature was that you would trust the same core players to do the job. Mm. Instead, he goes, you're looking for goals against Madagascar. Then he benches Kudus. He benches Osman Bukhari. He benches Ashimeru. And then the entire team that he plays yesterday even struggle to string passes together. So first of all, team selection wasn't spot on, in my opinion. 